Hello, my beautiful collective. Welcome to Real Love Tarot by Renee. How are you guys doing? I hope you guys are all doing well. Thank you for returning to the channel, for tuning in and checking in um, with me for your general love reading collective. This is your early September read. Um, we almost are into the mid-month of September already. This is insane to me it's just like september 1st was just yesterday and how are we here so <laughs> that's the energy i'm getting right now for you guys i'm just stacking up the cards for you guys i just um fill out your energy right now Woo, but i just y'all i feel like uh mercury retrograde is got everybody kind of somewhat in a chokehold right now and it is not looking so good for some people um, I, I see a lot of tower moments, um, good and bad, uh, for, uh, for some of the, uh, energies I'm picking up on here, um, uh, primarily dealing with some of your enemies and stuff like that, um, or hidden enemies, um, things are being about, about to be exposed, I'm getting, um, and things are happening all in divine timing, um, for your highest good, uh, whether you see it as, um, uh, you know, whether you see it as that or not, I'm I'm just lacking better words here, but yeah. But for the most part, on the bottom of the deck, we have financial flow is coming. The universe wants to bless you. 42, bust down to a six. Uh, if you're life path number six, like I am, listen, I'm here for it, spirit, yes. Someone from the past is returning. Number 33, there's another six. 22, bust down to a four. Forgive, release, anger, resentment, and ask forgiveness or forgive yourself is very uh, important here. And you are protected. Don't worry, okay? So even if someone is um, sending you any type of negative energy, um, horrible wishes or anything like that, don't even worry about it, okay? So at this time, Spirit, I'm going to ask you to please continue to protect this reading um, um, and give me um, honest um, information beyond the white light of tarot. For the collective's highest good, for the intuitive, the oracle, and the tarot, okay? Any negative energy sent towards me or the collective shall be returned to sender a hundredfold. Please bind it to them, spirit, and keep us protected. We welcome you into this reading. Thank you, spirit. All right, so let's go, collective. Divine spirit, holy spirit. Give me honest messages for all signs. Someone raising in this north node, wherever your major placements fall. All right. All right. So this is good. Financial um, security flow is coming in. I feel it strong, um, especially with air signs. Um, air signs. Um, Sagittarius, Aries, and um, Capricorn energies here in oh, Leo as well for some of you guys. Yeah. So let's see. Let's see. Give me messages from the tarot or whatever. Let's see here. I'm just going to leave these here for right now. Just kind of see how these messages play. I'm not going to do a big spread. Let the first three cards fall. Yep. Six of Wands. There's your victory and success. Yeah. So if you guys were worried about a situation um, with regards to your finances or just your overall abundance and flow, you're going to have victory and success. Don't worry. Seven of Pentacles, something that you have um, planted, some, some seeds that you have planted will bear fruit with the Seven of Pentacles here. Uh, hermit mode in Nine of Wands, okay? So, so you guys have been doing some, you guys could maybe um, been in isolation, really focused on your finances, on your growth and your stability. And you're kind of like in this guarded position um, right now um, is the energy I get for you guys collective, which is, that's okay. Yeah, I see the seven of wands here. Yeah, kind of, you know, um, it's like an all determined energy or defending. For some of you guys are going to be defensive uh, against anything blocking your prosperity. Okay. It's like you're focused here. Queen of Swords. Yeah. Libra, Libra, Libra Gemini, Aquarius energy. Mm -hmm. You're really in this guarded energy at this time. You're very focused. You're only dealing with you're only dealing with energies that is serving your highest good, that is truthful, is honest, and is bringing you 
um, good vibrational energy at this time. If it's not bringing you that, you're not really in the energy of dealing with it. And you're very defensive and very much so, um, I get the energy of with the Seven of Wands, the Hermit card here, Virgo energy, defending your peace at all costs, blocking anything in anyone that's not serving your highest good. Yeah. Yeah. You got the Knight of Pentacles here on the bottom of the deck. I'm going to leave them there. Let's see. Give me a side spread, spirit. For the Queen of Swords energy. Yeah. Page of Cups. Yeah. You guys got love coming in right? Something you're excited about or maybe some new opportunity with the Page of Cups that resonates. Yeah. Look, Page of Pentacles. Okay. Oh, and for some of you guys, you may reject this Page of Pentacles, this offer. There's a Page of Cups that wants to come in and you guys could be rejecting it. Page of Pentacles in the reverse here. Yeah, because you're blocking what doesn't, you, that's not serving you. Two of Swords making a decision on that. Damn. Oh, on the money, on the money. So somebody could be coming in to offer you uh, some love and you could be blocking it with the Page of Pentacles in reverse, okay? So this is telling me too that you're really not in the energy for any foolishness. It's like, you know, either come correct or don't come at all type energy here as well. I feel like for some of you guys, you feel like um, this... <laughs> You just don't want to be in the energy of it, just accepting whatever. You know what I'm saying? Um, with the Page of Pentacles, this is like, this could also be somebody trying to um, make problems for you in this in this energy. Of, uh, what am I trying to say? Oh, retrograde. Let my words come together. This could, The Page of Pentacles in reverse, could, this could also be someone trying to cause troubles for your new love coming in as well. And you're going to have to make a decision on blocking this person out as well. That's also the energy I'm getting here, okay? Right? But for some of you guys, yeah, and that and that could be what you're blocking, right? Or rejecting. Um, it, not necessarily the, the offer of love coming in, but whoever it is that's um, causing you problems trying to block it. And for some of you guys, you could be trying to, like, you know, you're, you're making a decision not to accept, right? Emperor energy. Yeah, you got an emperor on your tail. Aries energy here. Two of Cups. There's your love. There's the love offer. Yep. This emperor wants to bring in this love. And somebody's going to come in and try to block it or cause you some type of problems and be immature about a situation or whatever. And you're going to have to make a decision between two to either block this person out. It could be a friend, family, foe, whatever. Um, you know, and just, yeah, let them go. The sun. You guys are going to be really happy. Something is being illuminated that, you know, you got happiness on the way. Um, not, you know. So, or th this emperor energy uh, to the two of cups of the sun. This could also be um, a new business endeavor from an emperor or a higher entity that's going to bring in something that you're going to love. That's going to make you very happy and also bring you in flowing financial uh, abundance. Okay. So that's why I left these uh, oracle cards here um, so that you could kind of get the full picture here. Knight of Cups. Yeah. A lot of you guys, it's love and money coming in and an opportunity. Um, Knight of Cups is here. Scorpion energy. Let's see here. Yeah, Four of Swords mm, in the reverse. Yeah, wow. All right. So Four of Swords in the reverse is telling me too. It's just like somebody is ready to act. Like they're burnt out. They're tired of holding back from you. Um, whoever this Knight of Cups is. So somebody has like real love, Prince Charming energy. Very, a lot of love, a lot of passion. Somebody who really wants to romance you and, um, and show you something. Um, and I feel like they're tired of holding back from you. Um, the four swords in reverse, they're restless. They can't, they could be up all night thinking about you, can't sleep, you know, their focus is you, nine of pentacles. Yeah. Yeah. This is like, come on. You're their everything, right? They see you in your full abundance here, living life, enjoying life. Um, you know, not looking like you don't have a care in the world. Yeah, and look at them wanting to travel towards you. They could be at a distance from you at this time. They may have to travel by car or plane or whatever. Um, They could not live near you or just have to travel to you in some way or they're planning on to. This is also the energy of them waiting for their ships to come in as well. Ten of Swords. Something, um, 
some somewhere in this energy there was some type of painful ending okay and it had somebody in the ten of swords energy like this is like severe heartbreak either they could have caused this with you in some way or yeah queen of pentacles or they could have found this out that um, 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 Queen of Pentacles mother energy could have caused some type of severe heartbreak. And now this person is wanting to travel towards you. Yeah, Seven of Swords. Yeah, clarified by the, the Seven of Swords. Ten of Swords to the Queen of Pentacles to the Seven of Swords. This is some hidden deceit, dishonor in some way. Five of Swords. They cause a lot of conflict in your connection. And now your person is really missing you, wanting to be with you. And for two of cups, wanting to bring you this cup of love, uh, for real, for real, to the sun. And they want to, I feel like they want to share this information with you and definitely bring you some offer. The queen of coins, uh, pentacles here, could be one, somebody who's trying to stop it. And someone is making a decision to cut them out. It could be you or your person. Take it out. Resonates with the five of swords. Four of Pentacles, yeah, because somebody's been holding on to a situation or trying to keep you off um, balance and unstable in some way, but that's not, yeah, too strong. You're too strong. It will never happen, and that's that's hurting this Queen of Pentacles in some way. Now, the Queen of Pentacles is an upright. It's just it's just a sign of there could be a mother figure or something like that. Ace of Pentacles, you guys. There's your money. Here's your offer. You're getting this offer. Is the, is literally nothing they could do about it. What's the spread? The moon. Yep. Because somebody is emotional behind this connection. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, energy, strong Pisces here with the moon card. Um, just doing it like this. What's hidden behind this moon? Six of Swords. Yeah. Wanting to move to calmer waters. King of Swords. The Empress. Yeah. So it's a king of swords in your energy or somebody is finally seeing things for what they truly are, the truth of a situation when it comes to an empress and wanting to move to calmer waters. I feel like there's um, a lot of emotion, hidden secrets um, behind this connection. And when it comes to this empress and something has been illuminated in some way that someone is definitely trying to cause some type of strife chaos may help with the five of swords right this is also someone um wanting to fight for you as well after learning um this queen of um, pentacles could have deceived them in some way yep there they are moving towards you the fool mm. yeah what is it six of cups came sideways somebody wants to take a leap of faith but the fool is coming out sideways i mean the six of cups is coming out sideways it's just like there there could be some indecision or some delays in this five of wands yep conflict yeah so because there's still conflict that somebody is dealing with behind the scenes wow yep because somebody justice fell right out in reverse damn somebody somebody did something unfair unjust and this is because of maybe something that this Queen of Pentacles um, did. Whatever. I felt like somebody could have also lied in a situation. It was very deceitful, dishonest with the Seven of Swords here. It caused your person to be very dishonest and um, and caused you some injustice or maybe you had something, did something in the justice system that um, that was unfair and, and to, you know, cause you conflicts or whatever, listening to this Queen of Pentacles, only for them to find out this Queen of Pentacles was behind, you know, the conflict and the whole time, you know, when it came to this Empress, them keep, and basically they didn't want you to move forward with this Empress energy. Yeah, the world. And so something came to an end, right? Yeah, so, so something came to an end and a cycle was closed out. Yeah, the tower. Woof, told you. Cause a tower moment. Yep, a, a sudden change happened because of this. Yeah, damn. And now somebody is seeing things in a different perspective, but they're also in this stuck energy, not knowing which way to go. Yeah, but uh, they want to have some fast communication. Sagittarian energy, the lovers. Yeah, they want to tell you that they love you. 
I'm in love with you. I should have never let this happen. Yeah, eight of cups. And they want to come out of this stagnant routine. Yeah, when it comes to this ten of pentacles. Because they see long-term long stability with you, right? And they could also see you walking away. And this has them in the nine of swords energy. Someone doesn't want to let you go. Yeah, they don't. Hierophant. This is a spiritual connected union, Knight of Swords. Yeah, they want to come rushing in. It's just like they had to learn some hard lessons behind their behavior in some way. What's on the bottom of the deck? Yeah, Three of Swords. Yeah, because Queen of Cups, Mother of Yeah, Queen of Wands, Ten of Wands, Heavy Burden, Ace of Swords. Somebody caused a lot of problems in your connection and somebody you know what i'm getting to your person if you're are you, if this is you and you were the one who ended up breaking someone's heart because of a family situation or some type of somebody a third party interference or something like that it's tearing somebody apart tearing somebody apart energetically i feel this and i feel like somebody doesn't want the other person to move on right um because the love is really there um but a lot of energy here okay a lot of energy and justice is here right with justice being in the reverse somebody was treated unfairly in a situation and now i feel like somebody wants to right their wrongs with six of cups being here somebody wants some type of reconciliation reunion or things like that but there's someone that's really trying to come in and block it and that's a problem that's causing tower moment after tower moment and i feel like there's guilt and restraint here in this connection um when it comes to someone having forward movement now someone is going to take a leap of faith and just you know throw in the cards but it may not come as soon as they would like I feel like somebody is still going through a healing phase to get over this energy. Oof, y'all. Oh, it's it's not cute. It's not a cute energy to be in. All right, I'm going to put these to the side. And I'm going to pull from um, this deck here. Let me just pull these cards up here and move them to the side. They're so relevant. All right, let's see here. What's this person's um, feelings towards the collective? What's their true feelings towards the collective? Yeah, on the bottom of the deck, Nine of Cups, wish fulfillment. That's their true feelings. Yeah, Page of Wands, and they wanna they wanna spread this news. And then, and, and the fact of the matter is, Five of Cups. Somebody is in deep regret, like I said, about their actions. Okay, maybe uh, listening to the wrong people, taking the wrong advice, thinking that you're, you know, you're getting protected love and advice from um, a family member, parental figure, take it out, resonates or whatever. But all they were doing is causing some type of slow slowing down of a situation to the Queen of Cups energy here. Yeah, which has caused conflict with the Five of Swords here. Yeah, lots of fights and disruption behind the scenes, okay? Somebody is fighting themselves, mad at themselves, upset with themselves for even juggling the situation, making the wrong choices, taking too long uh, to come towards a wish fulfillment, maybe due to fear in some way, yeah. Emperor energy, more Aries energy here. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, definitely trying to gain the strength here. Mm-hmm. Leo energy, strong fire on the board. There's your there's your Knight of Swords here rushing in, wanting to rush in to, to right a wrong in a situation. Yeah. Wanting to definitely right a wrong in a situation. Listening to the wrong energies. Yeah. Yeah. This is faded. Okay. Because the truth of the matter is, someone sees you as the star acquiring an energy, really their wish. You know, their hopes and dreams. Yeah, there's your two of cups. They love you for real, for real, not for fake temperance. 
and definitely wanting to bring balance and uh, peace and harmony to a situation, some type of reconciliation, apology with the temperance angel here. Yeah. I said more Sagittarian energy and let, and let bygones be bygones with the four source energy here. Ace of Cups. They love you. Somebody really loves you, collective, you, them, them, you, take it out, resonates. And somebody has definitely wanted the uh, Six of Wands, victory and success here for something to move forward, okay? I feel somebody is just really feeling really bad, really regretful about how things played out. Um, but I feel like someone could also be hiding their emotions as well. I'm trying to keep a straight face, um, even guard their energy because there is so much regret okay maybe wanting someone to make maybe wanting someone um or their person to feel like the love is unrequited unrequited when in reality they're holding on tight as a they're holding on tight i mean like you know how when you <laughs> you want to ride at disneyland uh like let's say you want matterhorn or if, if you're on um <laughs> what's the um what's the, the fast one you know what i'm talking about yeah <laughs> uh what's that right uh the fast one space mountain or whatever going toe no tight because you know your wig gonna fall off on space mountain period moon card is in the reverse yeah holding on tight mask is falling off and something is being revealed yeah they're gonna speak their truth three of wands and travel towards you for sure Somebody is planning this. Yeah, because we got the Knight of Swords. Somebody is moving very fast impulsively, but, you know, definitely in their head. Somebody is so in their head right now. Two of Swords on if they should even move forward to make this decision. And, yeah, but it's just, it's just like, because this is scary. It's just like a sudden change. This tower is, is. Somebody just caused so many problems in the past. And, and the reality of it is the six of cups on the bottom of the deck. They really want to be with you. They want to reunite reunite with you. They want to grow with you, right? You see, like, when he was a puppy and now, like, they're adults now. It's just, like, somebody sees you, like, you know, I want to be, I want to be forever with you. I want to, you know, be in this with you. High priestess energy, six of pentacles, and have equal give and take. And this new beginning, this passion new beginning with you. Yeah. They love you. Sun card here. They want to be happy. Leo energy. And they definitely want to grow with you. Seven of Pentacles. Okay. This is somebody who sees long-term stability with you. Somebody who's just in ignited by your energy, your presence. And they're just hoping for a turnaround but in their head they're like i don't want this to be a tower i don't they could be having a tower moment behind the scenes just with the two of swords needing to make a decision but at the same time in some way self-sabotaging yeah they're ten of cups yeah because this is what they really want yeah, Eight of Wands. They're going to come get it, though. They're going to communicate devil energy. Why is the devil here? Ace of Pentacles to the Ace of Swords. Yeah, so somebody is mad that you're being made this offer, that you're going to get this good news or whatever, and that truth and clarity is about to be spoken. Somebody is upset about this, or they're going to they're gonna speak. They're mad and they're going to make this offer and they're going to speak the truth. Because I feel like somebody's hands is now being forced to speak the truth about a whole situation and how things played out and why things are playing out the way they're playing out. Okay, so let's just get a little bit of backstory, a collective. This has been like an ongoing energy for so many of you guys. I feel like because it's been on and off, hot and cold uh, for some of y'all. Okay, that is really strongly the energy I feel. I'm actually going to just pull these cards up because, child, <laughs> you know, Auntie Black get real cray cray. Okay, yeah. It's somebody is just <sighs> having, I feel like they also are in the energy of they're just having tower moment after tower moment. But part of that is because, yeah, they're not being honest and they're not telling the whole truth. And they're miserable without you. That's the truth. Yeah. 
Yeah, somebody is definitely on a quest for self-knowledge and improvement, yeah? And they will be reaching out to you soon. This person really loves you. And justice is in your favor, collective, okay? Yeah. Yeah. Somebody wanted to keep you guys stuck in some type of negative-ass energy or whatever. I'm just going to kind of spread them out so you can, I can see the cards a little better here. And um, somebody is going to be reaching out soon. Or whatever because they they want more knowledge about this connection and what what why it's so intense for you guys um and and what the the real truth is behind the delays the the dishonesty they're not telling the whole truth to a situation withholding information some of you guys are high priestesses and you already know that someone is withholding information from you you just intuitively feel it high priestess did come out and they know this about you and this is another thing that's got them kind of shook like it's like i can only hold on to this so much deep down inside is eating them alive because they want you in their life they want you there they don't they clearly don't want to let you go but neither is this third party energy it could be family lover doesn't matter somebody who's jealous of the connection in some way or form does not want you to be yeah with your person copycat energy somebody who's tried to copy your energy they can't yeah they played themselves <laughs> whoever this miserable person is they played themselves playing in your face playing in your energy when justice is all the way in your favor i'm just saying all right yeah it's already written in the stars uh for you to be successful yeah so whoever this energy this jealous energy is somebody was really trying to keep you from your destiny and the real the reality of it is is like they can't i feel like somebody is they've been trying to put up a really strong fight and they've been losing the battle child because why are you being goofy yeah trying don't play with me what i just say trying to take you down trying to play your face take away you know take away what's yours what's rightfully yours it's already written for you you know what i'm saying it's already written in the stars for you to be successful but this person is going going over and beyond trying to take you down now y'all know i this this look how thick this i can't make these cards fly out the way they flying this because it's the truth come through spirit thank you faith you guys faith is too strong they know it. If somebody is reaching out to you, having faith that you'll forgive them, take them back and listen to the truth of the matter of what's really going on. Because somebody has been trying not to tell you the truth, the whole truth and nothing but the truth. And it's, it hasn't been working out in their favor in any capacity. Yeah. Pouring in. Yeah. They're going to tell you they've been pouring in empty, empty cups this whole time. Somebody's been pouring in the empty, empty cups this whole time, whether it's this karmic energy or your person, right? Could be this copycat. Yeah, this which is a karmic energy. Trying to be you, want to be you so bad, but they can't. You can't, you cannot, you cannot copy an original. Like, you get what I'm saying? You could, you could copy it, but you're not the original. It doesn't matter. You can make as many copies of it as you want, but you will never be the original. Because the more copies you make, the more it fades off the paper. Notice that? The more the more the ink don't the ink don't dry as well. It just don't. It just don't. Give me more spirit. Let me see. Yeah, pay attention to the signs. Spirit is trying to tell y'all. Yeah. Trying to block your blessings at all costs. Yeah, including you being with your person, but you're about to live your best life. Mm -hmm. They played themselves. <laughs> what I say? Their life is a facade, real fake. That's been coming out a lot. Yep, and they mad at you. That's why they're trying to copy you because their life is a facade. It's real fake. When you you've been you you've been the true diamond the whole time, but somebody couldn't see that. Now they're about to see it. Yeah, wanted you to be broke, busted, and disgusted. Woo! Pouring in the empty cups. It was an epic fail. Damn. <laughs> and you about to get this love and this money by tomorrow, child. And living your best life. I know that's right, spirit. Come through with the come through for the collective. Okay. What is it? Yeah. 
Somebody is testing your temperature at this time. They're going to be coming in, trying to test your temperature to see if you realize it was them that was trying to block your blessings. Yeah, only cause to be nosy and gossip about you. Yeah, that's some testing your temperature. Calling to see what you got going on or whatever. Seeing if you are, see if whatever they, you know, that negative energy sent you into being broke, busted, and disgusted. Because that's what they want for you, but it ain't working. This shit is killing them killing them listen when i tell you shit is backfiring on my it's backfiring they cannot understand why you guys are so loved and abundant failed attempt spirit got y'all yeah hiding the hurt and pain yeah because somebody's some that that's that fake energy their life is a real fake it's a facade Right. And they're trying to hide this hurt and pain from you because they they wish this on you. Right. They did. They wish this on you. They they wish misery misery on you when they're the ones who's really miserable. Right. They, they sit up here trying to take you down the whole time. They taking themselves down. Aquarius energy. Yeah. Yeah. But the founding fathers is here. Yeah. Somebody somebody is disgusted about how shit is going um, for you right now and how everything is not working in their favor. What is it, Spirit? Drop it. I uh, see so you. Okay. Yeah. Death. Never to return. Yeah, it's over. It's done. It's a data. Can nobody take your abundance? Can nobody take your blessings? Can nobody do any of that? And this is hurting whoever this Aquarius energy is or whatever. I don't care if it's the mom or the granny, the tooth, the, the tooth or the tooth fairy. Listen, they can't, they can't, they can't take your blessings. And somebody is sick about this. Somebody gets sick. They can have a query, uh, strongly high, high, uh, highly aspirated in their church. Don't have to be, but listen. Yeah. Purposely tried to block your abundance. Like purposely. I told y'all I came out in the tarot. Yeah. Somebody was being very malicious behind the scenes. Okay. Drop them. Drop them. What was this? Love offer coming in. Oh, it's coming. Don't you ever, don't, don't you ever worry your pretty little heads. It's coming, babies. Yeah, blocking their energy. You yeah, you transmuted their energy. Cause the fuck? <laughs> Pass down karma, generational curse. Yeah. It's what they're now inheriting. Yeah. Or or this is this is what they do every lifetime. Yep. And you guys are overcoming that. You're blocking their energy. You're just ignoring them, going about your merry way, living life, being happy and being beautiful and graceful and just loving and, and listen. And spirit keep coming through for y'all. They Listen. Yeah, somebody is definitely in distorted energy. Yeah. The way they think, the way they operate, just it's ugly. It's ugly. It's nasty work. It's nasty work to, to its core. Drowning in debt. They're drowning in debt, but they don't want you to know it. They'll want you to keep believing that they're balling like that, and they're not. Emotionally and mentally manipulative, and it's all backfiring on them. Yeah, and they're mad. Woo, spirit. You're highly fairy. Very, very, they're mad. Listen, they're mad. Look how it fell out that you're highly favored by the divine masters. Get a close up. That's now I listen. Auntie only got two hands, one to hold and one to shuffle. Listen, baby. And I don't know what's gonna fall out. I I don't know. This is this spirit talking at this point. Get into it. Get into it, collective. Get into it. What else do the collective need to know? Drop them. All right. Yeah, somebody real sneaky, hoping throwing throwing stones and you know, throwing rocks and hiding their hand, throwing stones. Oh yeah. Listen, yeah, very sneaky. Sneaky, 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 sneaky. One thing you can get past your auntie name is being sneaky. Listen, because it be all what you don't say or what you don't do that tell everything I need to know about you. And people don't think I be paying attention. I pay attention to everything. One thing I do is pay attention to energy. I, I could read you like a book and you ain't got to say a word. Because it's written all over your face. Hey, you ain't got to say a word. <laughs> That's true. That's true. And people don't, people don't realize that because I never really told that part of me. I, I, you know, and I know when to shut the door and slam the door in my face when they playing in my face. You're going to keep playing in my face and I'm going to 
and I'm going to show you. Because my, my model in my life is I'll show you better than I could ever tell you. Don't ever think you got me stuck, busted, broken, disgusted. Ever. Ever. That's where you always going to mess up with me. Always. Yeah. Overplayed their part. You or them. Mm-hmm. Yeah. With a bunch of fuckery and tomfoolery. Like, be for real. Keeping you in stuck energy. At least they attempted to. They failed. They wanted to keep you in stuck energy. Blockages and lack of foresight is what this person had because this is their own energy and they was projecting that onto you. Keeping you in, trying to keep you in this stuck energy. Yeah, but you're already highly defavored, right? Sagittarius energy. Yep. Somebody feels so defeated by this empress. They feel defeated. Mm-hmm. Toxic family and friends all up in your face. Yeah. All you you refocus your attention. You got to starve a narcissist. You got to starve a hating ass motherfucker from having access to you. When you starve them and everything, you, one thing spirit going to do is they, they one by one, they going to show you who been playing in your face without you having to ask them anything, without you having to do anything. It's the information is just going to automatically come. Whether it's just from your own intuition or, or just somebody is going to tell you tell you on the side and let you know what the real deal Holyfield's been, what people been doing behind your back. What you already know, you intuitive. You already had your suspicions. You already knew intuitively who was doing what, but you have people in your energy who's going to confirm what you intuitively already knew. See? One thing people do, and, it's, and for a lot of y'all, it's the people themselves who's telling on themselves, and they don't even realize it. You ain't got to do nothing. You ain't got to say nothing. You ain't even got to address it. Make no errors about it or anything else. Let the cards fall as they may, because you're already, you're listen, you're already, it, it ain't nothing for you to do. It's already written in the stars for you to be successful. What you, what you got to say about it? Nothing. What you gonna say? Everything is already working out in your favor, but they didn't know that. They was too busy trying to take you down. Yeah, hiding something. Hiding. 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 Who shall? Mm. Well, well, let's see what the potential outcome is, collective. Jesus. Jeez Louise. <laughs> Jeez Louise, okay? Oh, every time you look around, it's something. It's always something <laughs> with these energies, these people, these third-party energies that's all up in your face playing. Okay, uh, I'll pull from this. I'll pull from this that. No, I said pull from that. I'll pull from this that. This is real quick. This potential outcome spirit. Oh, the eight of swords on the bottom of the deck. I'm going to shuffle to give y'all a fair shot at it. <laughs> Make sure you know the cards stuck in here because you're not to be able to card stuck. What's the potential outcome? Ciao. Three more shuffles. Two. Potential outcome for the collective for their highest good. Yeah. Three of Pentacles. Somebody wants to work together with you. Somebody see that you've mastered your craft. They like what they see. They like that you're a hard worker and all of that. And they want to come towards you. They want to come towards you. They want to build with you. Absolutely. And you're and it's everything is about to work out in your favor. See the moon card here. Ten of Wands. Something. Something there's going to be some type of heavy burden lifted, I feel, or uh, whatever. Or this is a heavy burden for somebody. Um, seeing you, um, you know, be in this energy, somebody is very emotional that you, you guys are getting your wishes as well. Ten with ten of wands, temperance. See, it's, it's a heavy burden for somebody to see something balancing out for you, yeah. Yeah, and look, I left the eight of pen the eight of swords here. It was on the bottom of the deck. I left it and shuffled in here. Yeah. So you're gonna have four movement. And this Queen of Cups energy over here is heavily burdened. Um, and they're in mental despair right now that you're getting this. It's some type of mother figure fight Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy here. Somebody is really upset in the eight of swords. 
um, they wanted you to be in self-doubt. Now they're in, in self-doubt, okay, collective, all right? Or this is somebody wanted to keep the Queen of Cups in um, some type of mental despair. Yep, Seven of Cups with illusions and, yep, listen, Three of Swords and heartbreak. Yeah, this is what they were wishing on you and now it's happening to them. Let's just be for real. Let's just be for real. Somebody was wishing this on you, Collective, and now they're in this energy. Wow. Mm-hmm. Because, you know... And this could also be energy of multiple people working together really hard to keep secrets and in some type of hidden illusions or whatever. And now it's a heavy burden because they see you getting balance and still having forward movement. Judgment is here. Karma. Somebody is definitely paying some type of karmic debt. Yeah. When it comes to this star, Ace of Swords, because the truth was came out. Mm hmm. And it's coming or, or this is also the energy of judgment is in favor of the star queen energy. Um, that you're going to get this bright opportunity. And, you know, not only that, but some truth and clarity is coming your way. What is it? The chariot. Yeah, and that you're going to have forward movement. You're going to persevere over all of this. Four of Wands, High Priestess to the Knight of Wands. Yeah, you got passion coming in. Somebody's using their intuition and finally seeing things for what they really are. Knight of Pentacles. Somebody has been really patient behind the scenes waiting to come in. Queen of Pentacles. King of Swords. Queen of Swords. Somebody is just going head over heart at this point. And this could be all energy as well. It could, it could have taken something a, a minute for it to come in. Or whatever, but whatever's coming in towards you is going to have you in the Queen of Pentacles energy. Definitely going to be standing in your power, a strong Queen of Swords energy on top. Yeah. Justice, Libra energy. Don't play with me. Yeah. Nine of Wands to the Two of Cups. Yeah. You're going to overcome. You're going to overcome whatever blockages somebody was sending your way and you're gonna have your two of cups by hella high water you're gonna have it you're gonna have this love you're gonna have your wish was fulfilled okay you're gonna be happy on the bottom of the deck is the sun card here's your here's your news coming in here's your news coming in collective page of wands something's about to make you really really happy what is it spirit the fool yeah that you're gonna have some type of fourth movement and some really great new beginning Something is coming towards you. Something or someone, both or whatever. I feel like it's a, a, it, for a lot of you, it's a job opportunity, some type of business opportunity or some sort. And it has somebody in a ten of swords. Somebody is in deep anguish about this. Yeah, the lovers. That you're getting this love. Yep. And they're spying on you hard. Yep. Somebody's manifesting you. King of Wands. Woo! Can't get rid of them. Leo Aries Sagittarius, something came to an end. Or somebody wants a rebirth. They see bold, loving, confident, page of cups. Yeah, they want a rebirth in love. They they finally want to come in and be honest and be like, look, I want to be with you. Don't play with me. Six of cups, reunion, list. <laughs> they want a reunion, ten of pentacles. Yeah, they want to grow. They know your stability and it's causing a tower. Yeah, seven of swords, mask cut, forced to come off in some way. Somebody's been hiding their true emotion secrets, so searching behind the scenes that they really want to equal give and take with you. They want to communicate. Whew. That's all I have collective. Child, it's stressful. <laughs> it's stressful. This is stressful because somebody is doing a lot, was doing a lot behind the scenes to tear you down to you know keep you in stuck energy having you you know in illusions and causing problems trying to block your blessings block your stability block people from wanting to work with you all kind of stupid shit behind the scenes and really trying to keep you from this love because it's something that they lack in their life and they hate that you're getting it that's just the truth all right so I love you guys so much. I hope it resonates with you in some way and give you some type of clarity about your situation. Um, it could be anybody in y'all energy being in this third party energy, just being goofy with you. But you guys, you're going to get, you, it's like I said, in the um, intuitive deck, 
it's already written in the stars for you to be happy, abundant, uh, whatever. Yeah, emperor energy on the bottom of the deck. With your emperor being in boss mode, getting this business opportunity, um, growing your business, whatever the case may be, or a combination of all, you're going to be happy. And somebody, whoever was sending you these negative tags, is definitely waddling in their own misery so the the misery that they wanted for you they're definitely experiencing it right now in the present moment and this is this is causing them strife chaos and mayhem in their lives and you know you, you know that uh, you know that saying you reap what you sow so you know what's good for the goose is good for the gander <laughs> type energy okay you guys, uh, make sure to hit like, the like, share, subscribe button as you guys come in to watch this video so it can get out to other signs who need to receive this message for their highest good. All right. If you'd like to donate to the channel, book a personal reading, all the information is in the description box below. I love you guys so much, and I will see you guys on the next reading. Uh, Libra Gang Gang, you guys will be up on Wednesday. I'm going to, that's the date that I'm going to set for your live, uh, Libra Live. So if you guys are a Libra, uh, if you have strongly replacements in your chart, uh, I will be um, putting the lives there, okay? I love you guys so much, and I'll see you in the next time. Bye, babies.